Hi folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Water and I thought you guys would like to come along. I'm gonna fill up this one pool here for the geese. I'm gonna get me some creek rocks and start painting them. So Folks, the good thing about creating them uh, creek rocks is uh, you can do them for holidays and things like that too, and it makes it look real neat. You could also get little boxes and stuff and put them on top of little boxes and make a decoration out of them. And um, I hope you guys are doing good today. Uh, yesterday my husband was sick so I wasn't in here. I have to be careful with him because he's got congested, he gets congestive heart failure. And uh, when he gets sick like that, I get kind of worried about him because I'm afraid that something bad's getting ready to come on him, you know. And also he's a diabetic, folks. So that's one reason that I wasn't in here yesterday, and I apologize to y'all. But I thought I'd make it up to you today because he went to the auction today, and we've got that table in there free if y'all still want to work on the roses. And um, I just think that would be a good project for you folks, and it would be beneficial to you because... You could uh, take the creek rocks and make them for holidays and stuff. And um, also you can make shadow boxes with them. And uh, you can make terrariums with them with decorations on the top of them. And I just think that would be real neat, folks. And I'm going to, myself, I'm going to get into it, folks. And I, w I yesterday I worked on some of them roses for a while, and I've got that big rose almost uh, made up. And when we get back in here, folks, you'll see it because I'll show it to you. I'm just fixing the geese's water so they'll have drinking water. Because sometimes the chicks drink out of it too, folks. 
and it's so hot out here if you fill up a little water or something for them it's gonna get hot so uh, i just fill up this little swimming pool and they drink out of it until this evening you know and because it's pretty hot out here folks i don't want to stay out in this heat too long But it's a beautiful day out here, folks. Won't be too long. Everybody be doing swimming and stuff, folks. I wanted to get in here and say hello to you. Oh, shit. bumblebee trying to get me so uh but yeah the heat brings them out and uh they, they see you in a place that they don't want to they'll come up to you and try to sting you so you got to be very careful with them folks. but um that's why i walked away for a minute and y'all didn't see me on the camera uh, for some reason, them daggone bees like to try to sting me. I don't know why. I don't wear perfume or anything around here, folks, because if you wear perfume, that'll get you stung by a bee, too. It could be my clothes, too, because I've washed my clothes in those uh, Tide Pods that's got that uh, Febreze and stuff in it. And uh, some of that stuff smells a lot like a flower. So that draws bees and stuff, folks. But I hope everyone's doing well today. I didn't see y'all in here this morning or anything. Uh, I don't know where y'all went to. You probably gave up on me, but I couldn't help it, folks. My husband was sick yesterday. I don't know what he's got. I don't know if he's got the uh, just the summer crud or what, but when he gets that heart trouble like that, and also he has high blood pressure too, folks. So that's another thing. So he's got a couple of things that he deals with on, on a daily basis he takes all kinds of medicine folks <laughs> he was in the hospital last year folks uh, for about a week uh, he was in congestive heart failure and they had to drain the fluid off of his lungs and stuff. I'm talking about my husband. And really and truly, folks, I was worried about him because he did look bad. But uh, they just put him on a monitor and stuff and kept an eye on him and stuff. And then they stuck that needle in the, his lungs and drained that fluid because every time he goes into that, his feet swell up. And uh, also the fluid can build up on his lungs and drown them folks. So they thought that that's what was gonna happen. So they drained the fluid off of his lungs. And after they done that folks, he got okay. But uh, when he gets sick like he did yesterday, it's really worrisome. You don't know what's going to happen with that. So I just have to kind of keep an eye on him and stuff, you know, and make sure that he's got everything he needs and everything. 
So he slept just about all day yesterday, and that's another uh, sign, folks, that heart trouble's affecting him right now. So I worry about him, folks, but he keeps right on going. Uh, but I just want to get in here and speak to you all today. And I hope you're doing well. And uh, the next time we get on this video, folks, we'll be doing the roses. So if you're working on the roses, get your roses out, folks, because we'll probably be working on them, okay? Well, thank you for joining my YouTube channel, folks. And I hope you have a nice day and a blessed day, too. Bye-bye.